What's up YouTube, welcome to No Hairline. Uh, it feels like it's been forever since I've posted a full haircut video. Uh, obviously recently I've been more focused on my setup and, and getting the new station. Uh, so when my guy Ewan said that he was he was down from Scotland and that he was looking to get a buzz cut, I knew that this had to be the one that I filmed. It's, it's, it's just my favorite haircut to do. Um, I love that you get a bit of a transformation. Um, it's so satisfying shaving someone's head. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I'm gonna run through my steps a little bit. Um, I'm a new barber, the channel was just set up to document my progress. So it's not really intended as a tutorial and by no means claiming to be an expert. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Any feedback that you might have, please do hit me up in the comments. And if you enjoy the content, uh, then please do subscribe to the channel. Um, but I'm just starting now. I I've started just with the two open, uh, just to set that length on top. Um, and then I'm going straight with the two closed. I'm just trying to blend the sides into the top so I don't really have to worry about that later. Um, just to sort out the top of the fade. I'm using the Pissed Off Barber Phantoms and now in with the Demons. Um, I picked up the Demons as well. Um, I unboxed those in my last upload. I'm just setting this board line. I've been really impressed by the Demons so far. I've only used them for a couple of cuts, uh, but they seem to cut really close and just glide off the skin. They don't seem to snag at all. Uh, so they're absolutely perfect for doing this, this initial board line and, and clearing the bulk. So I just go all the way around the head with this um, just to make sure that I'm getting it nice and even. And with my first guideline, I do that all the way around the head as well. Um, and now recently I've started fading side by side. Um, I used to try and do everything all the way around the whole time. Uh, but I, yeah, I find it a little bit easier just to focus on one side, move to the other side. And then when I when I go back and I'm detailing the, the first side again, I think where I've not looked at it for a minute, things seem to stand out a bit more. Um, so I'm definitely finding this a more beneficial way of doing my fades. Um, but I definitely just think that it, it makes sense for me for the first couple of guidelines to go all the way around and just make sure that everything's even at the bottom. Um, so just following up with the, the Babless FX foil shaver uh, just after the, after the trimmers. And now here with that, that first guideline. So I've just got the blade completely open going up maybe two centimeters. Um, and like I said, I'm just going all the way around the head with this um, just so I know that it's nice and even at the bottom of the fade. I'm really impressed by the phantoms i really like these um, i've had them a little bit longer than i've had the demons i've only had the demons a week or so but i've had the phantoms a couple of weeks longer so i've got more cuts in a bit more experience with them and they're just super powerful uh they, they just absolutely mow through the hair you don't really have to to go over things as much as i, I have with previous clippers and i just find the shape of them really comfortable um, i like the click lever uh, i'm used to the click lever from the babless fx clippers anyway um so it feels like my, my steps etc is pretty much the same process i didn't it's not like i had to relearn how to use them or anything uh, so yeah I, I really like these i'm really impressed especially for the price point um so once i've used the the blade open uh, then i'm coming in with the one all the way open um, and i'm fading back down starting at the top with the one open uh, fading down then the 0.5 open uh, obviously this video is not in real time so it's quite hard to keep up with with which guard i'm using on the different clips uh, but essentially it's the two and a half on top then the two sort of to bridge the gap into the sides the one and a half just beneath that then the one the 0.5 uh, all the way down to just the blade open um, and just playing with the notches there just to try and scrub out that bottom line. I don't know how well you can tell from this video, but Ewan's got quite difficult hair to fade. Um, he's got really coarse hair, um, and there's certain areas like towards the front, like his temple, uh, where there's a, like, a little bit lower hair density. Um, so it's quite difficult to try and even it out. Uh, so I definitely go through this. You'll see uh, right up until the end of the video, I'm going back in and trying to touch up little bits and just, just do the best job that I can. And then yeah, just going through and just evening out those two sides now. So just following the same steps again with the one open initially, just reducing it notch by notch and um, just so I can even out them two sides um, and then working my way back down through the guards um, until I've scrubbed out that bottom line completely. And once I've run through that, that's my initial kind of steps. Um, that's when I'll go back through and start detailing. And if this is your first time seeing my new station, um, you can see it in the background a little bit there. Um, if, if you've seen any of my previous uploads, you'll know like sort of how, how different it is and how much it has changed and evolved over this like the last couple of weeks. Uh, so let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this camera angle. Um, I don't know if I need to be a bit closer, um, like a bit closer to the person and show less of the background. Uh, so let me know what you think. Let me know if it'd be more beneficial to be a bit closer. Hit me up in the comments. 
And then, yeah, once I've finished uh, going through like the initial steps uh, with the clippers, uh, then I'm just going back in with the trimmers just to chip into that bottom line um, and just try and really break it up and get a nice smooth transition from the foil shave up into the hair. And onto the beard trim. Uh, so you didn't want any, any length off this time. Uh, so I've just got the blades um, completely open and I'm just going through trying to take out any stray hairs just to neaten it up for him. Um, and just going through this at a, a couple of different angles so I can see the, all, all the different stray hairs and get it as smooth as possible uh, before blending it in. So his beard was already quite short on the side so I'm starting with the one open um, and blending up um, and then I go straight to the blade open uh, to get out that top line um, and then just even out the middle of that with the 0.5 um, so yeah just a 1.5 and 0 all the way up to the top um, and it blends in really nicely Ewan's uh, beard always blends in really nice and easy and then just lining them up ready so I can use the, the cutthroat razor uh, the, the demons don't seem maybe I need to zero gap them maybe it's something I'm doing wrong uh, they don't seem to hit that well um, in terms of getting sharp lines but they did enough here just to clear up the hair um, and then I'll pop the this is the, the Team 45 original shave gel um, and then in with the cutthroat razor which gets obviously a nice straight line so it doesn't really matter that the trimmer wasn't hitting the same um, but yeah so far I'd definitely say my Bablis FX hits much better um, but the demons are probably better for shaving bulks and just the same steps on the other side um, I kind of forgot I was filming at times here which is why the video is a bit all over the place if I would remembered I was filming I probably would have done like one side at a time a bit better but but I'm, like I said, I'm happy with how it came out, especially the cut, but I think the video is okay. And this bit's hilarious. Look how serious he looks. I don't know if I did something to upset him, but that is the most serious looking face. <laughs> and with Ewan's hairline, Ewan's obviously got a natural widow's peak that you can see there. Um, he doesn't like it to be completely, like a completely straight hairline because it, it, it just looks weird when it's growing out. Um, it, obviously, that when that widow peak grows out, it, it makes his forehead really stubbly. Um, so we leave it quite natural. Um, and then just going back in, just working back through. Um, this is the one guard, I believe. Um, just trying to detail it as much as I can. Um, yeah, styling the beard now, just with some beard balm. Um, and then doing that bottom line there with the trimmer and then hitting that with the foil shaver. Um, so a little throwback to the before. And now, some are ready with the buzz cut. Like I said, it's a 2.5 on top, a 2 open on top with a beard trim. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I know Ewan was really happy with the cut. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, just some, some closer looks there for you. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please do subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.